And Michael Wynn joins us today to preview the Sin Law Authors Club. Michael, thanks so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to be on. It's a, it's a great cold day, and it's good to be inside with a jacket on. Yeah, it's a little chilly outside. A little, a little bit chilly, chilly for the first day of spring, but uh, we are excited for the Sin Law Authors Club meeting this week. Tell us all about it. Well, we got a terrific speaker. His name is Robert Gentry. The name may not ring a bell with anybody locally, but he is one incredible fellow. Uh, first of all, he was the uh, newspaper publisher, editor for the Sabine Index, the newspaper in Manny, and he's a, currently a radio commentator on a radio station up there. He's the author of 12 books, but the special treat about Bob Gentry is that he is the last living person who had a close relationship with Governor, notorious Governor Earl K. Long. Wow. He actually was his driver, and I'm going to tell a real quick little story on him. Please. Bob was 17 years old and was driving the governor without a driver's license. <laughs> uh, the, the, driving the governor from one political campaign event in North Louisiana to another, and they were traveling on this one-lane road. And there was a slow car in front of him, and the governor was going to be late, and, and Go Earl said, uh, uh, Bob, we need to... We, we need to get up, get going on this road. And, he's, and Bob said, look, I can't pass this car. The, 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 the highway's just so busy, I can't pass him. So Governor K. Long said one of the great statements, hell, if you can't pass him on the left, pass him on the right. And it was a one lane road, so he tore, jammed his foot down, he tore through the field, passing up this car and kept on going. <laughs> And that was in the day when, can you imagine being driven with, by a, a teenager without a driver's license? The governor stayed all by himself. It's a different time. Different time. But I do like your impression of uh, Earl. I was an attempt in a depression. <laughs> it was pretty good. Okay, thank you. Well, he's going to talk about memories of Earl K. Long, stuff he has never told before. Wow. As well as, he's, uh, coincidentally, he is also, uh, a, 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 Bob was also a big music promoter and was... Jimmy Davis, Governor Jimmy Davis, the author of You Are My Sunshine, the second best known song in the world. He, he was his best friend. Wow. And he's still around. And Jimmy Davis was also a very interesting cat. He's there's a lot of good things about Jimmy Davis, and there's a lot of not so good things about <laughs> it. And finally, after he's been gone for 20 years now, Finally, Bob can tell the true story of Governor Jimmy Davis. Really? And he's going to talk about publishing and promoting books Thursday night, as well as Governor Davis and Governor Long. So this is his only time he's going to be talking about this. So if you don't come Thursday night, you're going to miss a great night. Absolutely. And his books must be about these stories, too, right? Uh, uh, stories set, uh, of North Louisiana, music. Uh, I think he wrote a book on Elvis. Uh, he, 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 he was one of the uh, people who represented Elvis and all sorts of... He, this man knew some stuff <laughs> and knows some stuff. And this would wow. be the one chance for people to come in here. This Thursday night, Westside Regional Library off of 28 on Provine Place, 6 p.m. I'd suggest you get there early be, if you want to actually have a seat and not be standing up. And, it's, of course, it's free, free admission all. You don't have to write books or anything like that to, to come to hear him. And we have lots of door prizes, a door prize for probably everybody. Awesome. And you don't have to RSVP or anything none, like none that? None of that. Okay. Just be there or be square. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you were also telling me a fun little story, too, a little known fact that you just about taught KLB. me. About KLB, yes. About KLB, yes. Of course, before KLB was a television station, it was a radio station in the 30s. And back then, when you were opening up a new radio station, you got to choose from the available call letters from the FCC. And the owner of KLB chose and he chose K-A-L-B. But he chose it for a reason, because it stands for something. And it is... <laughs> knowing Alexandria... Drum roll. Knowing, knowing Alexandria, Alexandria better. Yes, better. And of course, K-A-L-B does a great job of helping <laughs> the public know Alexandria better. Absolutely, yes. Well, thank you for that. And thank you for the little uh, fact, too, because I did not know what KLB stood for. Yes. And next week, morning. by the way, I'm speaking on lynching in Louisiana, but I believe I'll be coming on next week and tell the public more about this unique event. 
Yes, that's a great project you've been working on, too. We can't wait to hear more details about that. Will you go ahead and give us a little bit more information um, once again about not missing that great meeting Thursday night? Three days from now, uh, 72 hours, Thursday night, 6 p.m., get there early, Westside Regional Library, Provine Place off of 28, easy to find, first come, first serve on seating, a great talk, a lot, there'll be a door prize for everybody, some great books that I've attained as door prizes. Fantastic, and what's that number people can call if they have questions? My home number, still in a phone book somewhere, 487-8805. Look forward to seeing everybody. Absolutely, well Mike, thanks so much for joining us today and telling us all about it. We appreciate it and cannot wait for that meeting. It sounds like a lot of fun. And thank you. Of course, and we'll be right back with more Good Day Sinlaw right after this break.